Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I generally on Sundays I clean something. Uh, generally one of my vehicles. It's generally not the work van though is the problem, and uh, it really needed it. I haven't washed this van. I, to be a detailer at the level that I'm at, and to be a product line manufacturer owner and all of that i am ashamed of how my van was however it looks great now i cleaned it all up and i want to show you guys real quick this mold that gets on your trim let me show you you can see this mold all over this piece of trim okay you can see my pretty clean van um what was I doing? Oh, not too long ago, I cleaned this one up and I got great results. And I literally, and this was, I, I should, I say not too long. I bet you this was four months ago that I cleaned this one. You can still see a spot or two, but those aren't going to come out. But uh, I got it really, really good. And this one I didn't touch. In fact, I, I, I did it at a customer's house. All right, and so this is a magic eraser. Um, for most things detailing, I recommend against these 100% without question every time. This is a no-no. These might feel soft, but they are incredibly abrasive. Um, they literally will scratch the ever-loving piss out of your paint. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, it will also leave micro-marring in glass. Um, I, I don't like these. Uh, you can use them on your on porcelain, your sinks, your tubs, um, you know, that kind of thing. Even on uh, dishes, which I believe that's what they were designed for. They do work well if you don't mind scratches, though. Um, all right, so for this demonstration, I have some pre-mixed universal clean and prep in this pump sprayer. Um, and I'm going to attempt to do this on my own. Um, let's see. Um, all right. Got a little product on here. Now let's take it to the car. And you literally just start scrubbing on it. You see all that shit coming off there? That's that nasty mold and stuff. And you really just gotta get in there and you gotta work it. You gotta use your fingers. You gotta use the product. And you just gotta get in there and scrub. Scrub, 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 scrub. You just gotta work it. That's where we are. All right, so I'm gonna wipe that a little bit off. Let it dry for a second, and then hopefully we'll have a decent 50-50 for you to see. Um, so just a reminder, it was all moldy and spotty. And down here, not so much. Um, grab a dry towel. Here we go. So just a comparison compared to the nastiness. Now, obviously, I got to hit just the top. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Just the tops have a little bit left. But you can see how dramatic the difference is. You got this nasty brown crap there, and then this is nice and smooth like it should be. So I'm going to go ahead in fact, I'm going to go ahead and break with you now, finish it up, and I'll bring you right back because I need two hands to finish it up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's all she wrote. Now it looks amazing. You can still see some of the spots because it kind of the mold kind of stains it, but I assure you, 
you can work all day long and not get every spot off but if you just look at it now it looks all uniform and nice versus see I, you notice i dried it uh versus how brown and gross it looked i mean when you i literally sprayed everything off with the uh deionized water and it just kept running and kept running and i kept pressing the water into the jams and stuff and it just kept going anyway it looks great now no crazy mold i'm a happy man all right guys check out gary dean's detail juice nation it's a group on facebook where we talk about only my products my processes and what i've got going on and um if you want to be a part of something bigger than detailing that's where you need to be uh, if you got questions for me, 813-846-4406 is my cell. Uh, I'd be more than happy to help you with your uh, detailing endeavors. Uh, but do not use a magic eraser on your finish, well, on your paint, on your gel coat if you have a boat. Just don't use it on the finish. Um, use it in the kitchen where they're designed to be used. Um, now, can you get decent results here and there? odds and ends with a magic eraser absolutely um i would say proceed with caution because obviously i used it on that trim and literally it was the only thing that would get it off without damaging the trim it makes it look amazing with the universal clean and prep or with tiger's blood uh actually i did the other side with tiger's blood i did this side with universal clean and prep um just because i didn't have any tiger's blood readily available but um van is looking great now it's all clean. Uh, I did do a traditional wash because it was, it was pretty bad. Uh, I installed some LED lights earlier today. Pretty happy with those, uh, which you can't see. But anyway, thanks for taking the time to listen to me babble. And uh, check out detailjuice.com for all your product needs. And let me know if I can help you out. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.